Um, today we're having a workshop for K-12 teachers for the critical zone um, intensively managed landscape, an environmental science workshop where teachers are coming in doing field work in the morning um, and exploring things like the water quality and um, testing that they can employ with their own kids in their classrooms. And this afternoon, we are at the State Hygienic Lab where we're doing a deeper dive into water quality and also creating lesson plans that students can do paired with the activity of field work that they may do in their own class, in their own schools. One of the really interesting aspects of the morning engagement in the field work was learning that the CZO group is partnering with the farmer to improve practice on the farmland, to help learn what the farmers can do and what the researchers can do to help the farmers so that they continue to be able to have their livelihood and move forward, but also do it in a manner that is respectful to the environment. I think what Dr. Bettis did that was really um, interesting for the teachers is how our landscape has changed over time. And as farming practices and people moved into this area, it's changed the Clear Creek watershed. And teachers were drawing connections, not just between the science, but also kind of the history of the landscape and geography, and maybe political considerations that people would have to do zoning. So I think what it really showed is it's a very interdisciplinary topic and that we can use the environment and the watershed um, to look through multiple lenses, through math, science, social studies, engineering, and I think that really struck a chord with the teachers. Yeah, today we were doing a teacher training workshop and um, we were helping a group of teachers from around the area learn about some of the stuff that we're doing here as well as teaching them some lesson plans that they could use and take back with their students for uh, environmental science, basically. So the site out here is the IML CZO, which stands for the Intensively Managed Critical Zone Observatory. And the, the main idea of this critical zone is observing how uh, humans are impacting the landscape. You know, there's a lot of farming all in the area of up to 90% of um, Iowa's land surface is agriculturally farmed or used in some way. And so we, we're trying to understand how much uh, impact we have and, and what are the impacts specifically and how can we uh, manage that in a, in a more practical and sustainable way. This afternoon, they're planning lessons on how they can incorporate what they learned this morning into their classroom practice. And what's really exciting is we have new um, science and engineering standards that we've just adopted and they're already talking about how this topic aligns beautifully with what their expectations are in class. One of the important things is we wanted our teachers to get out into the field and the same way we want them to be able to take their students out into the field and look at a real problem that's around their community. And so the environment, most kids have a watershed nearby and as the kids will be able to go out and explore, they will answer questions about the environment around them and those questions will drive them to have an increased interest in science which will lead to an increased achievement in science. One thing that's really important to me is finding people that want to partner. So for example, in this project, Art and I, we both said yes to each other. We didn't know each other. And then the State Hygienic Laboratory welcomed us in here. So one of the great things is finding people that say yes. And when you do that, you can solve problems um, for K-12 and the community. So it's just been a great experience. <laughs>